Tyler the Forest Ninja here. Now I've been up and down this trail a few times. I have camped beside the river. My earliest videos are of me camping down the North Saskatchewan. But when I come through here, this is along a predator trail. I call them predator trails. Uh, you can call them prey trails or game trails, but wherever there's game or prey, there's definitely predators. Now, the way this this tree is, this huge tree here, is root up, root up, streamline with these trees here between them, and then this tree here is jammed under, and that's what has it locked in between this straight row of trees. Every time I walk out here, I'm always like crazy. I wonder what did that, if it was people or if this is a trail marker or some kind of, like I say, being it being, a, being a predator trail, is this is where the game come in and out, and very much so. <clears throat> there's definitely game out here. Now this is a bit old. As you can see, there's moss growing there. But, something was hungry. So yeah, like I said, the root up. We haven't found a stump. And then it goes straight down. And it's almost like a key lock. And it's right by the river on this trail. Actually, we couldn't, I couldn't find it at first because I thought that we hadn't gone, we'd gone too far, but I'm glad we pushed on. Now we're like 2K down, 2K over or more and we still have to hike out because we bushwhacked so we still have to get back to the trail and then we have to hike up the trail a bit and then we go back into the trees but this is just something I've always wondered about so I really wanted to make this video and if you know you let me know but I'm not sure and I'm so glad I finally got this because I've taken pictures but I've never taken a video of it I've either gone around it or I've come in and figured I'd do it after, but I'm so glad we spent the time. Like we have probably about another two or three hours before it gets dark. And if anybody knows 411, that's about the time we're getting abducted. So we're gonna get out of here decent enough. But, uh, Ray, tell them about the whistles. Heard some whistles, don't know what, what was whistling. Put it on you, bro, so they can... Nobody wants to see me. Okay. Well, we had heard... <laughs> we had heard some whistling. No tree knocks or anything. But we have followed, like I said, these predator trails in. That could be possibly why. But definitely our heads are on a swivel enough that, you know, we're starting to question what exactly... What exactly is going out here or what's out here with us. You know, animals or... I don't know if there's another person or our friend the Sasquatch, but uh, we have not found any tracks in the snow other than these couple of trees and tree structures. I suppose those street tree structures, that's what we've been looking for. That's why we hiked in today. Like this has been a good hike just to get this and a bit more, but I'm glad we did it. I'm so glad we did it. So. This has been Tyler, the Forest Ninja, and Ray, and I'm glad that you guys could come along with us on this trail and kind of see as we've come along and the, you know, the progression of our hike. I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. This has been Tyler, the Forest Ninja, and Ray. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.